Did you know that Barack Obama refused to give up his BlackBerry when he became president? BlackBerry was once the king of smartphones. Before iPhones and Androids ruled the world, BlackBerry was the gold standard. Everyone from presidents to CEOs used it. In 2009, BlackBerry ruled nearly half of America's smartphone market, but by 2016, their market share was 0%. How did this happen? How a billion dollar company destroyed itself. Today we are diving into the crazy rise and sudden fall of BlackBerry and how one of the most famous tech companies in the world lost everything. The rise of BlackBerry. BlackBerry wasn't always called BlackBerry. The company actually started as Research in Motion or RIM and their first product it was not even a phone, just a simple two-way pager. The name BlackBerry came later. It was inspired by the tiny keyboard buttons that look like blackberry seeds but here's what really made them stand out they invented push email you did not have to refresh the emails just showed up it was so addictive people started calling it the crackberry mike lazaridis built the company with a focus on making great products but he was also a bit too idealistic and avoided the rough side of business then there was douglas fredgin his co-founder he is more into gadgets and having fun than chasing money or investors together they built innovative stuff but they were not focused on sales scaling or strategy that's when jim balsley entered the picture a sharp aggressive businessman in a suit ready to make big moves he bought funding deals and real ambition but over time the company became a tug of war between Mike's slow and perfect product mindset and the gym's move fast or die attitude and that's when the cracks started to show internal chaos and the arrogance blackberry had two ceos mike lazaridis and jim balsley and they did not always get along one was a tech guy the other was a business guy it was engineers versus marketers when apple launched the iphone in 2007 blackberry's team literally laughed at it They thought typing on a screen was a joke and surprisingly after the iPhone came out BlackBerry stock actually went up for a short while they believed people would never give up physical keyboards they thought secure emails were enough big mistake they did not adapt and once the smartphone game changed it was too late to catch up to fight back BlackBerry launched a touchscreen phone called the Storm but it was rushed full of bugs failed badly At their peak, BlackBerry owned 43% of the US smartphone market. By 2013, it was less than 3%. They tried to come back with a new operating system, BB10, but it came 6 years too late. They even said no to Android early on. They were afraid they would lose control of their system. They had talent, they had the lead, but they lacked humility and the speed. The fall of BlackBerry. In the early days, BlackBerry's office was chaotic, but in a good way. Messy dust, sleepless nights, but everyone was passionate. They loved what they were building. That raw energy built something special. But as the company grew, things began to shift. Corporate managers came in. Deadlines started to matter more than creativity. And slowly, the original team, the dreamers, the builders, either quit or were pushed out. Here's an important business lesson to learn from this. Don't lose your culture when you scale. If your team stops believing, your customers will too then came a critical moment blackberry was about to launch a new phone they knew they were not ready but they launched it anyway they lied to the investors the mobile carriers even to themselves and the result the phone flopped lawsuits followed customers lost trust here's how bad it got in 2013 blackberry had to write off 934 million dollars worth of unsold phones just one model the Z10 while blackberry was still debating whether to keep the keyboard or switch to touch screen apple launched the app store google released android samsung took over the global markets and blackberry they stayed stuck in the past you can't win today's battles with yesterday's tools want another shocker in 2008 blackberry actually spent more on marketing than they did on innovation so what really happened BlackBerry did not fail because they were bad. They failed because they stopped listening to the users and to the markets. If there's one big takeaway from the BlackBerry story, it's this. 
Arrogance is expensive. Adaptability is priceless. If you learn something new today, hit like and share this with your friends. And tell me in the comments which company do you think is heading down the same path 